Hey, it's Rich Tarani with TMC. We're at Cloud Expo 2012 in Santa Clara, California. On our program, we've got Cheaton, who's the CEO of uh, Stratagen. Uh, Cheaton, welcome to the show. Thanks, Rich. So, tell me about Stratagen. Well, um, we've been in business for the last eight years, so uh, mostly our specialty is to help companies build their private and public clouds and then operate them 24 by 7. So uh, in terms of the last, uh, you said eight years, is that the number? So you were doing cloud work before the cloud became popular, basically? Well, we have been doing work in uh, every area that eventually was branded cloud. So as I always say, or maybe people have said to you, but IBM was really the first cloud with a uh, big mainframe and people connecting to it via dumb terminals. So we are kind of back in a full circle where somebody takes responsibility for all the infrastructure and you just sort of draw it as utility. What are some of the most important lessons you've learned uh, in doing this work over the years? Well, uh, the, by far the most important thing is that in terms of cloud specifically, is uh, cloud really is good for a few things. So for transitional systems, when you are moving a system from one place to another, for experimenting with stuff. So if uh, you and I want to have a couple of servers in the cloud, you and I can do it in the next three minutes, it's great. Um, we can um, have a lot of spikes going to the cloud. So for example, if you and I just ran a Halloween costumes company and our business existed only for a month, uh, cloud would be a great place to be. And finally, sort of CPU and storage spikes. So if you could do a hybrid and then spike into the cloud. Having said those things, um, in the last couple of years, we have also faced a lot of challenges with our customers who went to the cloud, and I won't name any specific vendors because these problems are common across the board in terms of really rising costs um, and uh, security, performance issues, and probably the most important is the lack of hand-holding from the cloud providers. Justifiable, because if you want to provide something on such a large scale and effectively, it's very difficult to do hand-holding and individualize and customize your services, but those are some of the challenges that I've seen in the cloud in the last couple of years. Now in terms of uh, the future, what sorts of things can we expect? Specifically in what regard? Uh, from your company. From our company, there are, um, you know, by far the, the most important thing that we are doing for customers these days is to help them figure out where their systems should reside. Uh, so everybody these days is typically in three layers, if you'll agree with me. Um, layer, the bottom is really anything that you have in your office, on your premises. The second layer is going to be a private cloud or a data center. And then the third layer up in the clouds is the cloud. The reality is that any company, uh, literally from a startup all the way to a Fortune 500 company, utilizes all these three levels very effectively. Um, and if they don't, they're in trouble. So lately what we have done and what I see ourselves doing forward, moving forward, is to make sure that a company makes the right choice of which systems reside in which layer. And after you do that, you cannot just stand still because that has to be revisited every year, every three years and so forth, depending upon your consumption of information and how the systems morph themselves, taking advantage of the newest technologies. And finally, the, the Achilles heel in all of these is to be able to manage all those three layers from one point. So you cannot have three layers running off on their own, applications going off on their own. You need to have a central way of managing everything and that's why the CIO is going to you know, have the ability to have uh, a dashboard of sorts. And so that's what we hope to bring to the market in terms of being the provider that brings all these three layers together and manage them effectively as one. Thanks a lot, Cheaton. Thank you, my pleasure.